Hi, I'm Rose Morris, founder and president of Abrams Nation, and today we're going to go over step-by-step how to put your safety sleeper together, a product that I designed for my son Abram to keep him safe at night that now helps thousands of families around the world. Come on, let's go set it up. When you open the suitcase, you'll find the fabric enclosure and the metal pieces of the frame on one side, and the travel air mattress, extra coverlet, stabilization straps, and frame pads on the other. The fabric enclosure is highly durable, it's machine washable, and it's fire retardant. The frame is made out of aluminum, which makes it strong yet lightweight. The coverlet is removable, washable, and made with an antimicrobial fabric. You can also add incontinence padding to the coverlet. Assembly starts with the frame base. First, take the enclosure out of the suitcase and set it to the side. Next, take the frame pieces out of the suitcase. Find the top pieces, those with the T sticker, and also set these to the side. Lay out the remaining B pieces on the ground with the matching labels next to each other. Next, connect B1 to B1, ensuring the snap button fully clicks into place. Repeat for connections B2, B3, and B4, ensuring you hear it click together, and then line up connections B5 and B6, and then connect them at the same time. Now we will assemble the top portion of the frame. For a twin, select the four pieces with the connections T1 through T3 and connect these together. Next, hold the top pieces vertically, aligning the pole ends with the jaw slide. Once aligned, insert the push pin from the outside towards the center and then flip down the toggle once through. Insert the remaining three pins for that first side, ensuring you flip down each of the toggles so the pin stays in place. Then repeat the set of instructions for the other side. Now that the frame is fully assembled, we'll add the enclosure. We'll start by installing the frame pads so that they cover the triangle portions of the frame as well as the push pins. Wrap the frame pad around the triangle so that the zipper side is facing the end of the bed and is running along the vertical bar. Insert the zipper pin so it is fully seated in the box before sliding the zipper down. Repeat these steps for the remaining frame pads. Once all four frame pads are on, we're going to lay out the enclosure with the roof zippers up and the door oriented in the correct direction inside the frame. Next, we're going to attach the enclosure to the top crossbar of the frame. Starting on one side, lift up the padding up and around the outside of the frame and over the top. Use your hip to help hold the foam in place and bend over to start the zipper. Insert the zipper pin, making sure it is seated fully in the box before you start zipping up. Then go ahead and pull the zipper all the way across that side of the frame. Repeat these steps for the other side. Next, you'll insert your mattress into the enclosure. Please note, the safety sleeper is intended for everyday use in your home with a standard mattress. See your user manual for the exact dimensions for your size of bed. The provided air mattress is intended for travel use only. Once you've fully inserted the mattress, pull the enclosure around the end of the mattress and secure the mattress pocket zipper by zipping all the way around. Lastly, secure the zipper pole to the built-in clip. Your safety sleeper comes with a coverlet sheet already zipped in. Make sure you watch the video on how to change out that coverlet sheet. Though your safety sleeper may be used directly on the floor, for added stability we recommend placing it on a bed frame, with or without a box spring. Use the provided stabilization straps to attach the safety sleeper frame to the underlying bed frame. Do this by attaching the Velcro strap around the aluminum frame, and then passing it under to the other side and up to secure that side of the aluminum frame as well ensuring all slack is taken up. Go ahead and repeat this for the other side. After this is done, your bed should be fully assembled, secured to the bed frame, and ready for use. See how easy that was? But if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We're available by phone, email, or social media. And we're wishing you many nights of sweet dreams.